the first words of the first ALBA conference, ALBA believes that Scottish independence is an overwhelming and immediate priority for the people of Scotland. <laughs> Contrast this with the SNP's now is never the time. And of course, we need Westminster permission. The Tories are taking 20 pounds a week from the poorest. They're raising national insurance on the workers. Once more, austerity is being visited on Scotland. The Tories are taking our Parliament's powers. We fought hard for that Parliament, and we were told seven years ago that it would be the most powerful Parliament in the world. That was a lie. But don't worry, Ian Blackford will write a strongly worded letter. Nicola Sturgeon wrote a strongly worded letter only the other week to Boris Johnston. Yeah. She asked him again, once again, for a section 30. I believe the request was turned down before the letter arrived. No country has ever achieved independence by sending a succession of begging letters to their oppressor. Our independence is not in Westminster's gift, it's in Scotland's hands. With a competent leader, Scotland would be independent today and Ian Russell would have seen independence. But we don't have a competent leader, we have Nicola Sturgeon. A politician who presented a win in the 2017 general election as a loss. What politician ever does that? But it served as an excuse to pause the independence campaign. Then instead of fighting for independence, she spent her time unsuccessfully fighting to save England from what they voted for, Brexit. She's made sure there's no independence plan B. On the Martin Keaton's case, she had her Lord Advocate argue against legal certainty. By going all in on both votes in May, she killed the supermajority plan, which could have seen us negotiating independence today. She still continues to smear Alex Salmond, the best advocate for Scottish independence ever despite his acquittal in two court cases and by a ma majority female jury of the smears. She's gerrymandered her, her MSP selection so that her star performers like Joanna Chell, fellow independent supporters, racists and bigots. She has no policies for an independent Scotland. She'd, she hasn't worked on indie policies since 2014. And the SNP has not produced a policy paper in over two years. So where are the policies to fight on? She's lost NEC members, SNP activists, and £600,000. And she insists on the matter of whether we can choose independence, Westminster is sovereign, not the Scottish people. We all need to wake up to Nicola Sturgeon. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. In contrast, ALBA has plans for Scottish independence and plans for Scotland. On poverty, on the immediate need to alleviate the worst effects of Tory policies, ALBA proposed £500 annual payment to low-income households, universal free lunches and breakfasts to all pupils, doubling the education maintenance allowance, universal free access to sports facilities for the under 18s, increase of Scottish child payment to 40 pounds a week. ALBA would also put in place publicly owned bodies for renewables, house building and ferries. And on independence, the ALBA policy is immediate, immediate independence negotiations with the Westminster government. If they refuse to negotiate, then there's a range of options. 
parliamentary action, civil mobilisation, legal moves in domestic and international courts and diplomatic initiatives. And after the local elections in May, an independence convention comprising all elected representatives to coordinate and give legit democratic legitimacy to the independence campaign. An independent Scotland would have a written constitution, an elected head of state, and the economic benefits of European trade, Free Trade Association EFTA membership. ALBA has just started out, but it has already has a range of policies to benefit Scotland and our people, and a re realistic and achievable plan to obtain independence, to regain our independence. It's now up to every, up to every SNP politician to decide. It's up to the independence movement to decide. It's up to every one of us to decide. Are you all going to cling, despite all that evidence, to the false hope that the SNP will change, that Nicola Sturgeon will change? Or... Will you, I ask you, to cross the burning bridge to Alba and put Scotland's future back in Scotland's hands?